Now it's time for another Board Game Brawl preview with Nick Meenahan, sponsored by BoardGameBliss.com. Hey people, today we're going to take a look at a game that is currently seeking funding on Kickstarter. That game is called Bon Appetit, and it's from the company Avant Garde Games. If you like what you see throughout the rest of this preview video, I'm going to encourage you to go to the official Kickstarter project page. Like I said, it's going on right now. That link will be up in the top corner of your screen, as well as down in the description section underneath this video. Follow the link, go to the page, find out more information than I could possibly tell you here, and hopefully you'll consider backing the project. Now, Bon Appetit is a light entry-level card game that's all about trying to have the most delicious steak meal. But in order to get that accomplished, you're going to have to do a little bit of trickery within the course of the game because your uh, neighboring table's uh, steak meal looks a lot better than yours, so you want to go ahead and try and take that. So through a little bit of subterfuge trying to uh, make successful accusations against other players, you're going to try to take their steak. And of course, there are wait staff and servers who can either help you or hinder your opponent and vice versa. So let me go ahead and give you a brief look at how the game is played with a prototype version of the game. So do bear that in mind. Whatever you see here in the overview uh, may be subject to change in the final version. But in any case, then we're going to come back and we'll discuss it further. Bon Appetit is a competitive game for 3-5 to five players. Players are trying to enjoy a delicious steak meal. The only way to do that, mechanically speaking, is to call out another player and accuse them of having a steak in their hand. Every steak you can grab in this way is worth one point, and the first to three points is the winner of the game. The game can also end if the deck runs out, at which point you compare cards on the table and cards in hand and add up points. But of course, the kitchen and wait staff can help you or hinder the other players. There are 60 cards in the game, split into three categories, stakes, tableware, and characters. Stakes are simple. Each stake in front of you on the table is worth one point, if you can hold on to it. Collect three of them, and you win the game. Tableware are cards numbered from two to five. On their own, they do nothing, but together they can add up to seven or be used in conjunction with the bartender card, and they will allow you to make an accusation. Characters have a wide array of abilities. Chickens make you and another player randomly trade a card. The bartender acts as a tableware card of your choice. Two bartenders can be played together to become a seven. The server makes a player return a stake to their hand. The foodie lets you score a stake card that's already in your hand. The maitre d' makes all players pass their cards to the player on their left. The busboy lets you steal someone else's claimed stake. The sous chef cancels the effects of busboy, chicken, or foodie. And finally, the chef cancels any card that was just played, even if it's not your turn. To set up the game, simply shuffle the whole deck and deal five cards out to everyone. Randomly determine who goes first. On your turn, you have four options. First, you can play tableware cards in order to get up to seven, and therefore make an accusation against another player. They might be able to respond with another card, but if they can't and you're right, you take the stolen stake in front of you. Alternatively, you can play a character card as described before and use its ability. Or, if you've played no other cards, you can discard one card and draw one. Lastly, you can simply pass. If you have less than five cards, you draw back up to five at the end of your turn. Your hand size is not restricted past that. If you ever get stuck with three or more stakes in hand, however, you can mulligan until that is no longer the case by returning your hand to the deck, reshuffling the deck, and then redrawing until you no longer have three or more stakes in your hand. After all of this, play passes to the next player, and the game continues until one of the end game conditions is met. That is Bon Appetit. Now the first thing that you're going to notice about Bon Appetit is that it has a very charming artwork style. Uh, it, lo it looks very classy while at the same time being very uh, just uh, family friendly looking. At the same time very uh, casual and comfortable type of feel to it. Uh, and that sort of goes hand in hand with the... The, the depth and complexity of the game in that as it's uh, as I said before it is an entry level game it's very uh, easy to learn it's very fast to learn and it's very fast to play as well so you can jump right into it with casual gamers and j just feel right at home with it right uh, right away 
Uh, but there is a lot of decision making in the game. There are there's a lot of things that you have to decide on how you want to do it. So you're, you're trying to first figure out who you think has those state cards. And that might be easier said than done because, of course, there are cards like the Matri-D, which is going to be uh, switching cards around from hand to hand. And so you need to take that into account. And, of course, you want to try and make sure that it's, it's one thing to be able to successfully accuse someone and potentially get a stake point for yourself. But getting one doesn't really matter. Getting two doesn't really matter. It's getting all three at once, and you have to be able to maintain those stakes lest someone steal them with a card like the bus boy or kick them back to your hand. So you need to make sure that you can actually hold on to the ones that you've gained so far. And in that case, now you've got some hand management going because now you have to hold on to the cards that protect you, the sous chef and the chef, um, who can prevent those nasty effects from really uh, hindering your game and keeping you from winning. So you have to worry about all these different things not only having the right cards to attack, so to speak, and get other players' stuff, their, their stake, but also to protect yourself from the other players. But of course, these decision-making uh, things, that, the, all these different decisions that you have to make are happening with a very light game that goes very quickly and is very easy to learn. So in that regard, it is going to be good for both casual players and for players who are more knowledgeable about games who nevertheless want to play a game that is lighter, faster, a nice filler game to play either uh, at the beginning of the game night or in between games, waiting for another table to finish. It has enough meat on its bones no pun intended, no food pun intended, <laughs> to keep people interested. So, if any of that stuff sounds like it interests you, if you're one of those casual gamers or know someone who is and you think this might appeal to them, I'm going to encourage you to go to the official Kickstarter project page by following the link up in the top corner of your screen or down in the description section of this video because you should not take my word for it. You can go to that page and find out even more information and hopefully with that information you'll uh, inform yourself and consider backing the project. That is Bon Appetit from Avant Garde Games. Thank you so much for watching and supporting our sponsors. Take care. Thanks for watching. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Patreon. And make sure to check out our sponsor, Board Game Bliss, where you can find an amazing selection of games from around the world. BoardGameBliss.com. Thanks for your support.